What's going on guys? It's Hugsy here with the first official episode of the quest lock. So, uh, I've been doing a little bit of research here, and I think I have determined what is going to be the list of the Mistaline quests that I can do at the moment. Uh, as you guys are probably familiar, I like to use Excel, and that's what I'm going to do. I've made a Excel sheet. This is going to have everything on here, but currently it just has the Mistaline stuff, so I'm going to look at that right now. So at the top here, you see Restless Ghost. There's not really any like order to this. It's more just color coordination, so I can tell what I'm doing a little easier. Um, everything that is yellow is something that I can currently do. Um, that there, There's not going to be any kind of... Uh, restriction be it quest related or skill related whatever that will prevent me from being able to do it um, I'm fairly certain that I can do everything on here except for this one I'm actually not a hundred percent sure on so I'm actually going to double check it even though I'm 95 percent sure that I can yes I can so it says that I need any poisons though which is going to be fun Anyways, um, it looks like that I can do uh, about 13, 14 quests, some, somewhere around that. So, I can do that. It's a couple of them are going to be a little bit more annoying. Actually, this one is not able for me to be able to do. I forgot to change that back because I forgot that you have to go to the Remington dock to be able to finish that quest. Uh, same thing with like Lost City, and then there's requirements for skills. I didn't even realize that there was requirements. Like um, Lost Tribe has an agility requirement. I didn't know that. So I might have to revisit these. But like I said, uh, this looks like it is going to be what I'm going to start with. So that is where I'm going to start, and I think probably gonna do just a couple of the easy ones like Cook's Assistant, Restless Ghost, Rune Mysteries, those ones just getting knocked out right now. Alright, so I don't really know which quest I want to do first, but that said, I'm going to go do Cook's Assistant real quick, and I think probably either Restless Ghost or Rune Mysteries after that. I'm not quite sure. So while I'm doing the quest, um, I don't even know, like, what items to prioritize, like, in my inventory. It, like, I, I'm, I'm that new to Ultimate Iron Man, because I've never done this. So, um, I think, yeah, there's a spawn in Lumbridge, I believe. I believe. I'm not 100%. Yeah, it's up in the gatehouse. So, I don't need that, so I can draw, I can leave that back there. There's the first quest of the account done, and some cooking levels to go with it. So, like I said, I'm gonna go to Restless Ghost. That's what it is. I keep forgetting the name of this quest, and I don't know why. Uh, I think that gets me like 9 prayer, something like that. I believe in like 9 or 10, which will be great, because prayer sucks to train on an Iron Man in general, and then I don't even want to like imagine how much it's gonna suck to train it on here. So, there's second quest done. Restless Ghost, cool. Nine prayer, and that gets me four combat. Awesome. I'm such a high level. Uh, what am I doing now? I don't know. I think I'll go do Rune Mysteries, possibly. Yeah, I can I can do that, because that, that works. So, as you notice, I'm doing Ernest the Chicken instead, because I'm kind of dumb, and I sort of walking towards uh, the wizard tower and I forgot to start the quest because I'm a moron and I didn't realize it until I was like almost there so yeah that was fun that being said though I am actually going to go start the quest now but I <laughs> so, so long so long to unlock it I don't need that I have cash now that's nice uh I don't know what to do with it though, but I have a spade. That's cool. And yeah, um, I feel dumb. 
I feel really dumb, but at least I got a quest done in the process of me being stupid, so that's that, there's a plus there. So rather than wasting that trip, I started and finished Sheep Shearer. So three crafting, and uh, I have my talisman now, which is great. So that is another quest, and I also just got my first random event to uh, Rick Turpentine, whatever. So I now have an uncut emerald, which is kind of cool. I don't know what to do with it. Probably won't do anything with it, but yeah, I have something. All right, so on my way back, I decided to do, um, what is this quest? Mistlin Mystery? While I was, well, walking back with, I just realized I just destroyed the notes. Oh my god, I have to go back. No, I'm stupid. I was destroying all the notes from this quest, and I accidentally destroyed the ones from Rune Mysteries. This is just, this is not going my way. This is terrible. I feel so stupid right now. So while on my way here, I was thinking, and I really need to get some, um, some cash because I really want to get a fire staff so that I can start to train magic because I know that I'm going to be doing majority of my uh, combat at least for a little bit through magic because everything else sucks and I don't want to deal with like not doing any damage because like I want to do vampire slayer I'm not going to melee that. That's going to be terrible. So I really do believe that I need to get a little bit of cash, get my magic level up, and because I'm also going to be needing to get more runes, but I can get free runes as long as I make sure I'm doing it on time, which that in itself is hard for me to remember. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be getting a little bit of money here. I'm just training some thieving because I might as well, but I'm not going to do this all the way for all that money. This is terrible, but... I want to get a little bit of thieving XP at the same time, so, yeah. Eh, I guess since I was here, I was going to take care of this terrible quest. I hate this quest. It's so stupid. so annoying having to go through dialogue with Romeo. He's such a jackass. I don't like him. I don't like him at all. This is the truth. Alright, uh, there's Rune Mysteries done, finally. So, um, I don't care about the rest of that. Uh, what do I want to do now? Um, what I want to do now, like I said before, I need to get myself some, um, what's it called? Money. I need money. And the way that I'm thinking about doing that is either possibly fletching a little bit, continuing a little bit more, um, thieving. I don't really know. Um... I do want to get myself to 7 cooking real quick, though, because I want to use baked potatoes for food, because they're 7 cooking, and they do um, 7 HP, I think, if I remember correctly. I don't remember. Uh, but that is going to be a little bit of fishing that I have to do as well, so uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll figure it out. Alright, so there's the seven cooking, so I have good food when I do actually want it. Because I am just going to get rid of all of this. I think I'm just going to sell these, even though they're not worth, like, anything. But they're worth even less just taking up my space and my inventory. So might as well get a little bit, and I dropped my ruby earlier because I'm stupid and I didn't think about it. Alright, so I've kind of thought my plan through here a little bit. I'm going to get myself up to... I think 20 or 15 or 20 fletching um, just doing some arrows and I'm going to just keep hold of all of those arrows that I make uh, the arrow shafts and I will train my melee a little bit by killing the chickens to get feathers and then when I do have all of that then I will go back and get my um, pickaxe and I will then start to use that and make myself some um, some what are they arrow tips that's what they are 
Make some arrow tips. I'm gonna have to get to, I think, seven, I believe, to get the arrow heads. No, no, we're at five. Five smithing to get arrowheads. So that is currently the long-term goal, I guess, for all of this, which is ridiculous and also really fun. Well, I just got a clue scroll, which is fun. And I can't do it. Not that I really expected to be able to do it, but because it is in Shantae Pass, which I cannot get to. So this is going to be 10 strength. I think I'm going to switch over to defense now uh, to do because I want to get to 10 defense. I'm not going to train attack because the whole goal of this is to get Vampire Slayer done, which is going to get me 20 attack by default. So I feel like doing that early is going to be kind of pointless because I'm going to be using magic to train. So yeah, I'm not going to do that. All right, finally, there's enough feathers to finish making the rest of these into headless arrows, and now I think I'm going to go mining, I think, is what I want to do. Yeah, yeah, I want to go mining and start getting the bars. I don't think the first inventory is going to get me to level 5, so I'm probably going to have to make some uh, daggers or something to sell to the shop but that'll make me a teensy bit of money as well which is not a bad thing well I got a hundred total level so that's a cool thing I guess not that it's really any consolation for anything that I'm trying to get done but yeah that's 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 a neat level I guess <laughs> I don't know all right there's the five smithing that I needed for making the arrowheads so now I can do that until I have enough to get rid of all of these headless arrows and then equip them in and I'll be happy. Alright, so while I'm walking back to do this last inventory of bars, I'm going to stop by Bob, buy the steel axe, because the bronze axe is just so much slower and it's only 200 gold, so it's really not going to make that big a deal as far as lost XP and it's going to speed up how much I can uh, cut these logs and yeah so I did that I think it's a good investment and I'm going to go finish off these bars here real quick. On a side note I'm realizing I probably should have gotten five um, attack because now I can't equip my steel axe and I didn't think about that which is kind of irritating. Alright, so 15 fletching is what I'm going to get with all of these arrows. Um, so I'm going to do regular uh, uncut longbows until 20, and then I think I'll switch over to oak. But I'm not sure which one are worth more, so I may do the regular logs a little bit longer. Alright, like I thought, I was correct, and the longbows are actually worth more. So I guess I'll do those to 25 fletching, which kind of sucks, but... Uh, yeah, basically now all I'm going to be doing is a bunch of fletching until I have probably at least like 2k gold. Alright, so I have enough cash here now to buy the fire staff, but I want to get up to like 2k-ish, maybe 2500. So like 10 more inventory, 9, 10 more inventories, and then I'm going to be done. And I also got a lamp, but I don't know what I want to use it on quite yet, because nothing really jumps out at me as far as what to use this on, but I'll figure something out. Alright, that puts me at 2500. I think we're going to see if I can get a few more uh, runes here, but, which would be nice because it would be 250 casts. I might be all, I don't know, I'm good, cool. Now to go get that fire staff, which is what I really want. Alright guys, as you can see here, I have my fire staff. Uh, with this, I'm going to be ending the video. Uh, I hope you all are enjoying the series so far, and stay tuned for the next episode. Later guys.